Hi, it's Miss Julie. I'm going to read you a book called Cross a Bridge by Ryan Ann Hunter, illustrated by Edward Miller. On this page, you can see an arch bridge, a covered bridge, a beam bridge, a suspension bridge, a pontoon bridge, a log bridge, a trestle, and a drawbridge. Bridges stretch across bays and rivers, streams and puddles. Bridges cross valleys and gorges, too. Bridges used to be made from just about anything, rocks and logs, even animal skins. Nature made the first bridges. A river wore away rock, forming an arch. This was the first stone arch bridge. A tree fell across a stream. Someone chasing an animal scrambled across it. This was the first wood bridge. Some bridges floated on animal skins blown up with air like balloons. A long time ago, kings sent their armies into battle across this kind of bridge. We still use pontoon bridges, only now the pontoons are usually made of hollowed out concrete. Bridges need to be strong. Some wood bridges were covered to keep the rain and snow from rotting the wood. You can still find old covered bridges on quiet country roads. When you pass through, hold your breath and make a wish. Trains travel over special bridges called trestles. The braces crisscross underneath the tracks. They fill the gorge with fantastic patterns. Suspension bridges are just the opposite. Steel cables crisscross from towers above the bridge. These bridges look like they're hanging right from the sky. In Colorado, you can cross a bridge more than 1,000 feet above the Arkansas River. Beam bridges are long and flat. They rest on sturdy concrete pilings and reach across lakes and bays. The longest bridges in the world are beam bridges. One stretches more than 24 miles across, Lake Pontchartrain in New Orleans. You can't see from one side to the other. New kinds of bridges are being designed all the time. Bridges are busy. They carry cars full of people. They carry trucks, buses, and trains, too, full of people and all kinds of things that people need. Some cities have lots of bridges to get the cars and trucks, the buses and trains in and out. If you drive through Paris, you'll have more than 30 bridges to choose from. Some bridges open up because ships and boats on the river below are too tall to go under. Then the cars, trucks, buses, and trains just have to wait while the ships and boats pass through. Then the drawbridge closes and the cars and trucks, buses, and trains cross over it again. But bridges aren't just for crossing. Bridges are for sitting and fishing and wishing. After reading the story, can you name these bridges now? See if you can do it.